to our the guys used to come and see us you know week in week out at the venues you know so it was it was so much fun and you know you know get, getting those trays of drink brought up i mean that was just a dream come true you know like sure. you'd have to get off stage if people would just bring drinks up to you and just go hey skull this because the parties were legendary and i think no other band in sydney was doing this no other band was just putting on a a free night for people to come out and and actually enjoy a Christmas party. It'd always be a, a night you go to on a Friday or a Saturday, which would be a gig that you'd go to. But this was like a night where you would, you just, you'd been invited, you'd been told, our Christmas party for months, months, Tuesday the 22nd of December, blah, 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 you gotta come along. This is gonna be our night. And it would just become like a cult night every year. It was actually some of the best gigs we'd ever done. You know, some of the best memories we'd ever had. The fact that we got to really, really let loose and I don't, I don't drink normally when I sing because I slur my words at the best of times. I struggle with English normally. So having a couple of beers on stage just doesn't help. I start thinking I'm John Farnham. <laughs> Hitting notes I don't normally hit. That sort of almost like a you know 21st mentality, you know, which was great, you know, like it was just fun. We we had a lot of fun doing that and and how we got through that, and I still don't remember, but we somehow managed to get through, and I think it was one of our best sounding nights, to be honest with you, because it was raw. 